I don't... We're going to discuss it. Discuss what? His choice, decision. We're going to sit and talk, the family, like a family, a family talk. Uh-huh. <laughs> Major Barbara. <laughs> Who? You asked me about good plays. Had I seen good plays in Minneapolis? So, yes, Major Barbara, George What's it, uh, Bernard no, Shaw. I, I, never wrote, uh, I don't get out much. I'm not supposed to. They want me to curtail my socializing without Paul. And Paul doesn't like, he's never like theater. He's film. Sometimes he wants to go to a film so long as it's, you know, underlit or overexposed, so long as there's no pleasure to be derived. From. <laughs> But we went to see Major Barbara, and it was good, you know, Shaw. Yeah, we read him in 20th century. <laughs> Spinning his contradictions, like dizzying, a head rush, sort of like, sort of like, oh, I don't know, poppers, <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> speed, or E, or <laughs> an infarction, fun. <laughs> but I don't know, my early training kicks in. This is, this is, it's gradualism, blech. It's the emasculation of the working class by a sentimental pseudo-socialist peddling an idealist conception of history. Oh yeah, baby, talk commie talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm glad, I hate it when some asshole cell phone went off in the middle of Undershaft's big speech in the last act, and the actor, the actor winced. He lost his focus, he, I, I, you know? Thank God I am not an actor. At least I was spared that indignity, if little else. But if I was, I'd hurl myself off the stage at whatever part of the audience the ringing was coming from and, and find a fucking cyborg who just couldn't bear to turn off his cell phone and, and stuff the goddamn thing ringing right down his throat. I shouldn't have cut my wrists on your birthday. <laughs> In my head, it was your mother's. Yeah, well, anniversary. Because it's unfortunate, but she died on your birthday. So. So, you thought you'd give him a matching set? <laughs> <laughs> she died giving birth, anyway, not on. It's the his same. Seat. No, I mean, you make it sound like she, you know, baked a cake and then toppled over it. <laughs> <She was, laughs> but, but so this time, so I decided this time after your birthday. Not on. <laughs> I waited. So you aren't going to do the open veins in the warm bathtub no. again? Because cause that was awful. And, and really? Like seriously fucked up the upstairs bathroom. The, <laughs> the drought. <laughs> <laughs> May I? Why am I asking? You weren't going to participate in this, correct? You kvetched all the way from the Twin Cities Airport to Newark to Morningside Heights, appropriately, I thought, showing some slender benefit derived from all the admittedly less pricey than Manhattan, but since I have been paying for it, pricey enough Minneapolitan psychotherapy, all apparently shot to hopeless shit by an hour back in this city. And the mere prospect of facing these dear people, you know, I love you all, but but <laughs> this conference or or gathering of the coven, it legitimizes whatever there is in him of genuine, serious, suicidal ideation. It wouldn't be a, a good idea, probably, for most families. But also, the man is a communist party member, cadres. Party discipline, but what do I know? I thank God, went to normal summer camps and had normal miserable times there, but Gus, I love you, and Jesus loves you, but you spend your whole Don't life. Don't out. He doesn't believe in Jesus. He's, a professor of theology He's speaking in a manner of speaking. But you spend your whole life in fealty to a veritable machine for the manufacturing of paranoically implosive personalities. The sheer suction of it is staggering. Even Sister Cleo here, you, we, how many times have we met? Rarely. Always a pleasure. <laughs> you tried, as I understand it, to get away from the whole grim, obsessive, secretive cult culture. Your father, I imagine, Gus, and here you are, back again, guarding him since last June. I left to become a nun and then a Maoist, Paul. I'm most at home in cults, the grimmer and more obsessive, the merrier. <laughs> Someone took you to the opera. <laughs> it was awesome. That little bit, especially, it's like I, I couldn't stop, you know, it, uh, 
<laughs> it moved me, and I, like afterwards, I, I, I found that line. I borrowed his CD. You borrowed his CD. I found that line, and I memorized it. Sing it again. Why'd you memorize it? I have a fantastic memory. No, but why? Well, you obviously have a theory. What so does it mean? You speak Italian. You know what it... Oh. Cool. You think it was for you, it was me missing you? Was it? Were you? Consider that a people defeated, tormented through you alone. Resurge Air Quo may rise again. I know. <laughs>